Previously on The Last Door Wakefield and Kaufman followed the only clue they had on Divot's location, the recipient of Anthony's disturbing letter, Alexander Dupree. Wakefield visited the East Hill Asylum to gather some information on Dupree's past. Wakefield discovered that Dupree was a leader of a secret society known as the Playwright. He learned that they practiced rituals with the goal of peering through the veil, the line that separates the common world from an outer void full of horrors. One of East Hill's patients turned out to be a member of the Playwright, but she escaped the asylum. Wakefield and Kaufman followed her to her hideout, a cabin in the mountains, when suddenly a big flock of birds appeared. I must forget nothing. Okay, so welcome back to The Last Door Season 2. I changed a few of the settings again because I was having a little trouble reading the text. Um, so the ratio and whatever is probably a bit different right now. Everything must be set. When the time comes, and I am visited again. Dynamite? For a moment, the sky was dark. We heard the calls of a thousand birds, but another sound rose above them, a sound I cannot describe. What? What just happened in here? Where is Miss Cohn? We are too late. An explosion, or did she go into the other world through the veil? It is ashes. She exploded, maybe? The windows are covered with wooden planks. It looks as if she were trying to keep someone from entering, or something from getting out. Well, that's foreboding. Chalk, a circle drawn hastily on the floor. She thought it could prevent what she knew was about to happen, but she was wrong. I do not know what to make of all this. I do. Kaufman sure knows an awful lot about this. I mean, I know she, he's supposed to be an expert of the occult. But even so... Are you alright, Kaufman? It is nothing, my friend. Just a bit of a cold. Now, my friend, I think we should talk. In light of the events we have recently witnessed, the matter cannot be delayed any further. You must make an important decision. It is not yet too late to go back to our daily lives. If you do not want to continue, you must forget all about your patient, Jeremiah Divitt. You will have to keep to yourself everything you have learned about the mystery of his disappearance and never talk about it again. But should you wish to continue the search, you will need to accept the consequences, whatever they may be. Please do not take this decision lightly. The path ahead is not without peril. You know my answer already, Kaufman. I must know what happened to Divid. So be it, then. 
As you may have already realized, this matter involving your patient transcends the limits of psychiatry as we know it. We are not dealing with the effects of trauma or the demons of the subconscious, at least not in the terms that we are used to. We are dealing with something old, something dark, a sinister truth that has been buried deep for generations. This man, Alexander Dupree, and his organization, I think they seek to uncover these secrets, and I fear they might have already. Miss Korn's fate, whatever it was, must be related somehow, but my knowledge of this area is simply not sufficient. Okay. We must pay a visit to an old friend, someone I never thought I would want to see again. The man who introduced me to the extended scientific field of the occult. My mentor, Professor Adam Wright. A professor, huh? Like Alexander's wife's crush? Professor? Season 2, Episode 2. My Dearest Visitor. Oh, the map looks a little different. And I only have one option. Oh, this is like a good, this isn't even London, <laughs> of course. I doubt he is aware at this time of day. Perhaps he cannot hear us from the front. Let us try the back door. Mrs. Oakwood, she is the manor's housekeeper. Yes, who is it? Good morning, Mrs. Oakwood. Don't you remember me? Why, Dr. Cuffman, bless my soul, it's been so long I hardly recognize you. How nice to see you again. Allow me to introduce my colleague, Dr. John Wakefield. Is the professor at home? We would like to see him. Why, yes, doctor, of course. I am quite forgetting myself. Let me take you to him. It is really good of you to come. He receives so few visitors these days on account of his condition. His condition? Oh, sir, I am right sorry. I thought you knew. The professor, he... He suffers from an ailment afflicting his brain. He is now entirely confined to his bed. Well, now I'm going into like a southern bell drawl. Professor Wright, you have visitors. One of them is your old friend. Look, look, do you recognize him? It is Johan, Professor, your old pupil. I reckon he does remember you, Johan. It has been a long time since I've seen him so excited. I will leave you two to talk to the professor. It may be difficult to keep him on one subject for long, but oh, it does him such a world of good to speak with old friends. Should you need my assistance, I will be in the backyard. Professor? Uncle James, you are back. It is I, Professor Johann Kuffman. Where is father? Where has he been taken? He suffers from some kind of memory loss. Yes, I am afraid he will not tell us much in this state. If we could but stimulate his memories, maybe then he could tell us of his research, something to unravel the mystery of the playwright. Perhaps. We have few other options in any case. Let us try. Why don't you explore the manor? There may be some object we can use to jog the professor's memory. Meanwhile, I will try and talk to him about the time we researched together. That could also help him remember. We must find a way to help the professor recover his memories. 
Why don't you try to find some object the professor may have kept as a memento? Yeah. Meanwhile, I will try to keep telling him about the years we spent researching together. Poor Johan. He seems kind of sad. Remember those times we would almost get no sleep and... Remember these times we almost got no sleep at all? Right. Now I wonder, what if I had stayed? Professor Wright's gaze remains fixed on the window as though he were waiting for someone. The snow is falling outside, slow and silent. Professor Wright? Father, why must you spend so much time away? Father. Man, so many of these characters just have these dads who abandon them to go away, like to boarding school, send them away. Father. Yeah. I mean, daddy issues are, are no great surprise in stories because, you know, they happen so often in real life. A large wardrobe engra uh, of engraved wood. Okay. Hmm. An engraving on paper. The script is from a language unknown to me. A painting of the ocean at the end of the afternoon. There is a figure in black on the beach, but its face is shrouded by a hood. Hmm. A lamp provides a soft glow that somehow lacks warmth. It's locked. A sign on the door reads, Attic. An oil painting. It shows an obscure medieval scene. It's a big mirror. Though I see myself in the mirror, the reflection is strangely distorted. A large porcelain tub, its hefty weight supported on four blackened iron feet. A thin ring of damp residue around its interior suggests recent use. A common radiator. An old stone tower is depicted in the painting. Thorned vines have slithered across the entrance, forming a swarming blockade that almost seems to come alive when stared at for too long. It won't open. Hmm. This is a pretty looking house. A portrait of Professor Wright. His appearance was quite different back then. An imposing, inquisitive figure. An antique ceiling lamp. Ceiling lamp? Is that what they called chandeliers back then? It's weird. Okay, go back for a second. I want to see if I can open this door. Yep. A porcelain jar containing some dried branches. Is does this lead outside? Let me explore the rest of the house first. A sea landscape. 
a gilded pipe. It runs from the room at the end of the corridor to the room upstairs. It is locked. Okay. Kitchens. A cast iron wood stove. A gilded pipe. It runs from the ground to the f corridor. I like the mood of this um, house. The atmosphere is really nice. Glass jars filled with spices and pickled food. Various ingredients. A bread oven. The door is locked shut. A small sign reads, Basement. Yeah, why is she digging a circle, by the way? I thought that was weird when I first saw it. This oak tree looks ancient, probably older than the manor itself. Oh, you can go into like- this looks like a maze. Uh, a thick layer of ice covers the pool of water. Should I speak to her? May I ask you something, Mrs. Oakwood? Of course, Doctor. How did the professor become afflicted? Yeah. How did the professor become afflicted? The ailment runs in his family. Mr. Wright suffers from it, as did his father and his grandmother before him. It is truly a terrible thing, and to think all these years Mr. Wright knew what would become of him. May God have pity on his poor soul. Mm, what are the symptoms of his illness? This ailment that runs in Professor Wright's family, do you know what its symptoms are? Well, I can't speak those very long words ph physicians use, but I can tell you what I see in him. Professor Wright highly remembers a thing from the last 40 years. It is like he is a child again, Alzheimer's. With God's mercy, it has now gone so far that it torments him no longer. I will lead you for you up to your work. Thank you for your assistance. Have a good day, Dr. Wakefield. Presumably this leads to the front. Yeah. You go back and let's take a quick gander at the maze. Oh, it's not a maze. Okay. The statue portrays a clergyman hiding his face behind a mask. Really? Well, I can see him holding a staff, but that's all I can really make out. The queen has removed her mask. There is an empty hole where her face should be. Okay, I was trying to make sense of what was happening here. So, the mask was her face, pretty much. When the four remove their masks of lies, the path to the grave will be cleared. Oh. So I need to get him to take off his mask. And this one and this one, presumably, because the queen's the only one whose mask is off. The central statue portrays a cloaked figure holding a clay vessel. The vessel has a small hole in it, just large enough to see a metal object hidden inside. The statue portrays a peasant woman with her face hidden by a mask. I can't just take off any of their masks either. 
A stiff tree. Almost seems like a statue itself. The sage has removed his mask. There is an empty hole where his face should be. Okay, so his mask is off as well. So I need to get this one and this one to remove their masks. Uh, anything else here? Anything else? Yeah, that leads out. Okay. Any of these little bumps? I want to know what she's doing. Why is she digging? Nothing. I'm gonna click on her again. May I ask you something, Mrs. Oakwood? Of course, Doctor. Oh, nothing. Okay, never mind. Alright, let's go back in. Nothing. Maybe I should explore the outside then. A fierce lion damaged by the harsh weather of the coast. Presumably clicking on this will lead back to the map. Let me look around a little more. A fierce lion damaged by the harsh weather. Its head is missing. Oh. Okay. There's a strange ornament on the wall. I think I can move it. 